every year around the beginning of December, Greensboro begins to sparkle. Maybe it's holiday magic. Whatever it is, it's the perfect time to explore our city, to do a little shopping, or just spend some quality time with friends and family. Need a little holiday spirit right this very minute? Well, just head to downtown Greensboro. That's where all the fun is happening. Zach Matheny is the president of Downtown Greensboro Incorporated. So much fun stuff going on, including, of course, the ice skating rink. Absolutely. The ice skating rink is kind of the epitome of if you ever needed something to help you get in the Christmas holiday <laughs> spirit, come skate. Yeah. And, and even if it's not cold, it doesn't have to be cold. It's even better sometimes when it's not so well, cold It's outside. beautiful right now and right. kind of warm, but a little bit cold, so it's perfect. Perfect. Okay, so what kinds of things are going on? We've been seeing the decorations start to go up, and they're just going to increase downtown. We've, we've added snowflakes uh, in the, on the poles. We've added lights on the trees to help people get in that, that spirit, that holiday spirit. We're going to have a trolley running on the weekends. Oh, and, of course, we've got Santa at the Biltmore almost every weekend in December. Oh wow, plus a new tree. We did, we got a new tree, it's 35 feet tall. With the star on top, it makes it 42 feet tall. And so uh, we're doing bigger and better here in downtown Greensboro. Yeah, your cards, that's your card taking, picture taking spot, right? Exactly. <laughs> that's, the, that's the, you know, go get your picture made at the tree, come ice skate. I, I said earlier, Festival of Lights and everything that is downtown it's free. We want folks to come have a good time. The stores are dressing up their windows. That's always fun. We want it to feel Greensboro, kind of New Yorkish on the windows, and then and, and people have a good time. With a lot less traffic, which we a love. Lot less and of course, when you're ready to shop, lots of great shopping, lots of great eating downtown. Oh, the eating, <laughs> tell me about it. Um, but there is, there, you know, our merchants are, this is the epitome of small business. There's no chains, there's no big box. This is just hardworking men and women that's just rolling up their sleeves and really giving everything they've got that put on a, a great show and give you things that would interest you for gifts or for yourself. What's your favorite part about the holidays in Greensboro? You know, it really brings people together. You know, it kicks off for us with the Festival of Lights and the holiday tree lighting. And from that, you know, you've got 60,000 people singing the carols together and it really brings the community together and I don't think there's anything like it and it can't happen anywhere else but in downtown and it's because it's everybody's downtown and seeing that is special. We love it. We can't wait for all the fun to start. A new website too, just for December. Just for, if you're ever curious, it's downtownindecember.org, all spelled out. It's downtownindecember.org. That has a full itinerary of all the cool, neat things you can do in, down, in December. Like Green Hill, you've got the Carolina Theater having shows. There's so much going on, and that website will tell you what's going on. And if you're in doubt, just walk downtown, find a place to park, walk around, spend the whole day. You're liable to definitely find something fun to do. There's nothing like stepping inside Greensboro's Cultural Arts Center to get you into the holiday spirit. And Green Hill has just what the doctor ordered to have you feeling some holiday cheer and get some gift giving done at the same time. Elizabeth Harry is the shop manager at Green Hill and you have some fun things to show us. I do, thank you for coming Rosemary. Um, I want you guys to know that here in the Cultural Center at Green Hill, in our shop, you can find work by over a hundred North Carolina artists, um, everything in here is handmade um, locally. So right here in front of us, I've got just a couple of highlights. We've got some jewelry by Joanna Goldberg. I love her work because it's contemporary and colorful and sparkly, um, and her designs kind of rip off of some more traditional jewelry styles. Um, and over here, we've got a new artist to the shop. Her name is Katherine Adams, and she's a glass blower who makes these really giftable ornaments, vases and these i love these these are reusable glass straws that's pretty hot right now too yeah and she's pretty thoughtful she's even included a little um 
cleaner. Yeah, a pipe Is that cleaner. What yeah. yeah, with the gift set. And these gift sets of straws are only $35 each, so they would be a very great gift to either someone who loves handmade things or your eco-friendly friend. Yeah, absolutely. And really, you have all price ranges in the shop. We do, from $8 on up. Um, we've got really affordable artwork. Even on the wall behind us, we've got some oil paintings by Francisco Lombardo. Um, these are only $120 each, and they're just beautiful. He's a really fine oil painter. Um, so you can find something beautiful to gift to um, anyone on your list. Edie Carpenter is the Director of Curatorial and Artistic Programs at Green Hill, and Winner's Show is coming, is here at Green Hill. Such a great holiday experience to see and to shop. Yes, we're just putting the finishing touches on Winter Show. It's really an annual kind of art rendezvous here in our area. I think one of the things that I always, and I've said it before, the thing about Winter Show that always strikes me is the sheer concentration of talents here uh, in the, at Green Hill in the Greensboro Cultural Center. Uh, you'd have to travel from New Bern to Burnsville, 400, over 400 miles, to see these artists that are all brought together uh, in this one space. I know you're going to be open some extended hours as we get closer and closer to holidays. Yes, we'll be open from 5 to 7 the week of Christmas, the 18th through the 21st. And then, of course, you can stop by uh, during the normal business hours yes. during all the way up to then. Yes, absolutely. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. We look forward to it. Yeah, thanks for coming. If you haven't been to the renovated Carolina Theater, then the holidays is the perfect time to stop by. Megan Cope is the Director of Marketing at the Carolina Theater. What is going on over the next month or so here? Oh, so much. I think we're ready to welcome everybody in Greensboro back yes. for something here at the brand new historic Carolina Theater. We're ready for the holidays for sure. The decorations are going up, the shows are moving in, the movie screen is warm and ready, and I, I think we are too. Okay, so let's start with movies because yes. people love to watch movies here and there are some holiday classics coming to the big screen. Oh yeah, and some not so classics uh -huh. this year. We're uh, we're definitely trying to make sure we have something for everybody. We're going to start and end with the big one. It's a Wonderful Life and that's going to be the beginning movie on December 10th and our closing movie on December 22nd and then in between we've got Miracle on 34th Street and Holiday Inn and Die Hard and Gremlins, <laughs> Home Alone and uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Christmas Vacation, then some deeper classics like A Shop Around the Corner, which inspired You've Got Mail. So if you're a fan of You've Got Mail, you'll want to come see the Christmas version starring Jimmy Stewart, and it's fantastic. So much fun. Okay, so there are also some things on stage you don't want to miss. Yes. Of course, we've got uh, the Greensboro Ballet coming back with the Nutcracker, and that's going to be an amazing performance, and that's running for two weekends in December, and I think everybody will really enjoy that. We've got some live music up in the crown with Newberry and Virch and Lowland Hum. We've got the Piedmont Jazz Orchestra coming back with their fifth annual holiday concert this year in the big room in the auditorium. So I think we're going to be here just about every day this month, getting ready for Christmas. It sounds fun, and even if you don't see a show or a movie, you may just want to stop in and see the decorations because it's quite impressive. Yep, the tree's going up. We're getting ready. We're hanging our garland and uh, polishing our ornaments and popping some popcorn, maybe. So I, I think we're I think we're getting ready. Yeah, that's a good reason to come by too, just for the popcorn. Megan, thank you thank so you. much. Find out about all the fun things happening over the holidays at the Carolina Theater, carolinatheater.com. For 57 years, this guy has been welcoming folks to Friendly Shopping Center, and he's here once again. It's, of course, the Waving Santa Claus on Friendly Avenue. Brad Rogers is the general manager of Friendly Shopping Center, and this is really the place to be if you need to do some gift buying this holiday season. Absolutely. We feel like we have the best mix of tenants here, restaurants for dining. This is the place to be for the holidays. And how many places to shop here? 130 plus places to shop and dine here at Friendly Center. I mean, so where else could you have it all in one-stop shopping? Well, we like to think that we do. Absolutely, yes. Is there some nostalgia about walking around and shopping too and being outside? 
I think so. I think I think customers like to be outside. I think they like the outdoor nature of the shopping center and pedestrian friendly and walking. I, I think that's important. And of course, it's decorated for the holiday season and there's all kinds of events going on here. Yes, we've got Santa Claus here. We've got carolers here. We've got Mrs. Claus reading stories on Wednesdays. And we've got pet photo nights every Monday through December the 10th as well. So I can bring my dog or cat or yeah. gerbil. <laughs> Absolutely. Bring your pet and get a photo with Santa. Perfect. Well, we certainly love to hear that. What is your favorite thing about the holiday season? I just like the decor. I like the lights. I like this big guy back here. He's very important to not just the center, but to the community as well. Yeah, 57 years. That's a long time for this guy to stay around. Yes, it is. Very long time. He's uh, taken very good care of during the off season, I take it. Yes, he is. We take very good care of him. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you, shopping with you, and uh, dining with you here in Friendly Shopping Center. Find out about all the happenings going on here, the shopping, the dining, the events. Go to FriendlyCenter.com. Looking for something extra fun to do with the family over the holidays? Well, the Greensboro Swarm might be just the ticket. Steve Swatoa is the president of the Greensboro Swarm. So I know you've got five games in December, right? Five home games. Five home games in December. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and then uh, a Thursday after Christmas. So lots of fun things to do with your family. Or if you're thinking about a gift, I mean, what better gift than an experience gift to go to a game? All right, look right behind us. You have authentic game jerseys. You have actual jerseys that are signed by players like Dwayne Bacon and, and Malik Monk. Um, quarter zip, one of my favorites, quarter zips that we sell from Nike um, to a t-shirt. So a wide variety of, of, of merchandise and a wide variety of prices. So nice holiday gifts, right? So what's a game like, a Greensboro Swarm game? For those who haven't been, kind of give us a picture. So we say it's all about everything else but basketball. So from the time you walk in until the time you leave, we want people to be excited, laughing, fun, joking around, uh, enjoying family. So it's, and oh, by the way, we're playing basketball oh, yeah. on the floor, that right? Thing going on, yeah. But um, our game experience is really important. That's part of the reason why, a lot of reasons why people are coming back on a regular basis. Um, I'm not sure our fans really care whether or not we win or lose because at the end of the day it's all about the experience and so yes we want to win and I think that's really important our players want to have a competitive game but uh, ultimately it's about the fan experience and if you come in and you have a great time we hope you come back definitely well and I love that you can you feel like you're on the court I mean there's really not a bad seat well 12 rows is the farthest row we have and here we don't really have a bad seat and you really feel like you're on top of the action it's not considered basketball season now because you're still in the football season right. but once the calendar turns to January 1 People seem to get excited about basketball, but no, we've had really good crowds. We sold out, out opening night, came close to a second sellout, the second game of the season. And uh, so we, it's just fun entertainment and a lot of weekend dates uh, for our upcoming season. Awesome. Thank you so much. And you want to check out a game? Well, there are five home games in December at the Fieldhouse at the Greensboro Coliseum Complex. Check them out, the Greensboro Swarm. If all this talk of the holidays has you a little bit thirsty, perhaps you want to take a stop by Fainting Goat Spirits and check out their new Christmas whiskey. Andrew Norman is head distiller and owner of Fainting Goat Spirits. Yeah. All right, so tell me about Fisher's Christmas whiskey. Absolutely. So this is our award-winning uh, American single malt whiskey that we infuse with cinnamon, ginger, orange peel, uh, a little fresh ground nutmeg, as well as some other holiday spices in there to really get you in the mood. And you made, what, a thousand bottles? We made about a thousand bottles. Uh, we put it on sale right at the beginning of November. We've got about 200 bottles left of it right it's now. It's going fast. It's going really fast, much faster than we thought it would. Well, that's awfully fun. What made you decide to do this? Um, this is something we've always kind of done uh, at home in our, in our past years. Uh, and then we finally said, let's take it out to market this year, kind of get everybody a little festive and uh, definitely some tasty stuff. <laughs> definitely. So how can people buy it? Uh, you can buy it uh, directly from ABC stores. Uh, if they are sold out, you can also buy it here from the distillery. Uh, you can purchase up to five bottles per person per year directly from us. And when are you here? When can they be come to? Come in uh, noon to 9 uh, p.m. Tuesday through Friday, Saturdays 1 to 6. What's your favorite part about the holidays in Greensboro? 
Uh, definitely spending it with the family, getting around with everybody, and obviously toasting with the little fishers. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Thank of course, check them out, Fainting Goat Spirits. And as he said, you can find them at AB Source, ABC Stores, or rather just come by and say hello to Andrew in person. What would the holiday season be without toys? And there is no better place to shop for toys or just come play with toys than Greensboro Zone Toys and Co. in Friendly Shopping Center. Jesse Stafford is the store manager here, and this is always a crazy time here. I know. It is. <laughs> it is. It's one of our favorite times of the year here, too, though, because it really just feels like um, you're creating the holidays for all so the kids fun. of Greensboro. It is yes. so fun. Okay, so let's talk about some things that are hot this year. Yes. Okay. Um, what is new? What's exciting? I want to start out with the Tegu magnetic blocks. Um, we have experience with their older building block sets that are all magnetic wooden blocks. Okay. Um, brand new to them this year is their infant line. So you're 12 months and up. They now have this magnetic uh, wood set. You have your different stackers that they can manipulate oh, and cool. several different vehicles. Um, the train sets that will all connect via magnets and little individual cars that you can buy. Um, and if you have multiples, they will also all connect to each other via the magnets. So they're really getting to... Um, start with manipulating those right. pieces and still involving that imaginative play where they're creating their own world out of it. And stuff that the parents can like also. <laughs> okay, games. Yes, so games are great, especially when you get towards the winter weather and everybody's inside and you need a little something to do. Otrio is our favorite new game this year. It's actually just a take on tic-tac-toe, oh. um, but the whole family can play it. You can have two players, three players, four players, um, and you really have to kind of pay attention a little bit because it can kind of sneak up on you when your opponent's getting ready to win uh -huh. um, but again like we said it's just a take on the classic tic-tac-toe it just varies with um, the different ways that you can win your so, ultimate goal is still three in a row so easy to learn yes, okay absolutely. All right, this is more. this is a favorite in our house <laughs> we have a lot of them yes so crazy Aaron's putty um, obviously you know they make several different styles um, also coming out now this year or just recently the one pound tin so <laughs> um, you really get into having quite a bit to manipulate there um, their company they make glow-in-the-dark putty um, the magnetic putty they have scented putty they have putty that changes colors I mean they really just a little bit of everything for your slime obsessed child for sure it's been a slime obsessed year all right so. now this looks like a little friend yes this again would be something that would be great for our younger hands super soft um, there's a bunch of different colors and animals and you really can't go wrong with something to snuggle up with and yeah. cuddle with yeah. Yeah. Okay, I love to give outdoor play toys, and I see you have some of them here. Yes, we pulled some of our new options. Um, this company here, they now have some items that are geared with the Ninja Warrior Show. Um, they, We carry their Ninja Lines, which will hang between two trees and have an obstacles hanging from it to hold on to. Um, they also make their slack lines, so it's almost like the tightrope kind right. of walking across that. They have now come out with these obstacle courses, so there's several different activities in that with multiple family members being able to participate participate sack races, bear crawl, um, running through the agility rings. And they have also just continued to make that, like I said, that ninja line there where you're hanging it between two trees right. and climbing on that. Um, they've expanded on that as well and continue to just put out some great stuff. And some people have a, a, they have a little nostalgia this time of year. They might like to get a toy that they played with. Yes, absolutely. Um, Fisher Price continues to put out their classic toys. Um, there are some of these items that I believe first debuted in the 1930s and the 1960s um, they keep with that nice classic packaging and it's stuff that I mean, all the ages will recognize these toys that they have grown up with and can now share with the new ones in their family and kind of just in time for toy story getting ready to come out next year as we'll see some of these toys come back crafts I know are always a big hit and they're kind of a gift that kind of takes some time it doesn't just it doesn't get old. Correct, yes. And what I love about the crafts is what I always tell people, I love to be able, they get multiple things out of it. They get the activity of doing the craft, and then they have something they can put up in their room or somewhere in the house to be able to, to, to display the work that they've done. 
And I know you have a few more things down here, so let's walk around yes. so you can just kind of show me what you've so, got. Um, we are really expanding our musical instrument selection that we have. We have started carrying some really great acoustic guitars. Cool. Um, we have a couple of electric guitars from this company as well. Wow. Um, and some very nice ukuleles. And the ukuleles have been really popular this year. <laughs> oh, fun. And for if you don't want to play, you just want to sing? Absolutely, yes. If, you, if you're not inclined to play the instrument, they have the kids standing karaoke machine. Um, you just need a Bluetooth device um, and it will has two microphones so multiple kids can sing at one time, do a couple of duets, anything like that. Great fun. Okay, I've got to put you on the spot. Do you have a favorite, a favorite part of the store or a favorite item, your kind of go-to thing? Um, man, we are kind of hanging out in my favorite part of the really? store. Okay. I was an arts and crafts person, still am. <laughs> um, so I really love to share these in most ages of children, boys, girls, anybody. Um, we have quite a bit in the crafts to... Um, for great gifts for them. However, the Funtime Tractor, if I had to pick one thing in the store, it's not a craft. Um, it's a great little toy for your 12 months and up. You have the animals making their sounds, the farmer singing in it. Um, it moves as well. So that's probably single-handedly my favorite toy. Awesome. Thank you, Jesse, so much. Thank so you. much fun. Don't forget, Toys & Co. is in Friendly Shopping Center. It is open all the way through the holidays and beyond. It's a great place to come and shop. It's also a great place to come and play. Find out about all the things going on here and maybe do a little online shopping at the same time by going to the website toysandco.com. In the back corner of the Greensboro Children's Museum is actually a cooking school right at the Edible Schoolyard. And it's not just for kids. Mickey Davis is a chef educator here. You have all kinds of classes going on during the holidays. Yeah, we sure do. We have a lot of um, cooking classes for adults as well as children. Um, cookies of all kinds, cocktails, um, the works. Okay, so let's dive into a little bit for the adults. What do you have for adults here? Um, well, our partner Dan Liss, the head bartender at Gia Restaurant in Greensboro, is teaching a specialty cocktail class. We also have a really exciting um, pastry chef coming from Snap Pea Creative Dining. She's going to teach us how to make holiday tarts. Um, and we also have Terry Maltzby of Think Eat Row teaching us some sort of healthier ways to enjoy the holidays with um, healthy appetizers and gifts from the kitchen. It's so much fun and you, no kids involved with those so you can come and just be a grown-up if you yeah. want to at the Greensboro Children's Museum but they're also great classes for kids too. Yes we are having lots of cookie classes to celebrate the holidays. Um, we have a cookie swap for kids 8 to 11 years old um, as well as um, a holiday cookie crafting night for kids 11 to 14 and then a day for everybody with cookies with Mrs. Claus so that's for kids of all ages. It's just really busy around here and if you can't get in over the holidays then in the, it's a great gift to give. You could give a gift of a membership to the Children's Museum or of a class because you have them going on all year. Exactly yeah we think that giving the gift of um, a cooking class is a really great idea. We have a lot of classes lined up for January and February um, and the theme of January and February classes kind of align a lot with our mission of connecting people with their food, teaching how to how, teaching people how to cook from scratch um, and using things from the garden to nourish yourself and connect with your family. What do you like about working with children and working with adults in the kitchen? I really like how um, there's something for everybody to learn in the kitchen. Um, you can teach the same lesson to a child as you can to an adult and it's just as uh, amazing and wonderful. Um, I think everybody connects with food because we all eat um, and I think it's a wonderful way to um, bring everyone together and learn a lot of important life lessons. And isn't that what the holidays is all about? That's right. Thank you so much, Mickey. So much fun stuff going out at the Greensboro Children's Museum, including Santa. Yes, he will be here on December 15th. You can find out more about that, all the cooking classes, memberships, gifts, you name it. Just go to gcmuseum.com. Of course, we can't forget your four-legged friend over the holidays, and 
you're in luck because actually we have a Greensboro company making things special for your cats and dogs. Mike Dempsey is the co-owner of Yellow Dog Design. It's been in business, what, 20 years here? 20 years. My brother and I started it back then and it's just grown and grown. People really do like their four-legged friends. Well, and you do too. I know. I've seen a few of them around here. We've right? got about 15 that come to work every day and we're excited every morning. It, uh, it takes the stress out of the day for sure. Okay, so you and your brother, how did you get started? Where did the idea of Spawn? Well, we used to sell this type of printing and uh, we needed a product uh, to, um, to make and we decided on pet and pet just went through the roof and we we're very very fortunate very okay. blessed so you started with collars and leashes basically collars and leashes and we do harnesses we do couplers which allows you to walk two dogs at one time uh, we do uh, a lot of personalization which is a huge part of pet right now Oh, yeah. So let's talk about that because you were already doing personalization, but this year you've you've kind of partnered with another company who does a lot of personalization. We have. We've been very fortunate. We hooked up with uh, Shutterfly, and we we do their personalization on pet products, and we're known as their pet partner. Uh, and we introduce new uh, new uh, products to them about every three months, and they've picked and chosen which ones they want. So it's uh, it's got us really busy. Okay, so I love that. If you're getting that orange box, and so many of us do this time of year, it could be coming from right here in your hometown in Greensboro. Right here in Greensboro. We, like I said, we're very blessed. Uh, they, it's a lot of orders. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun as well. All right, so what products to, are you selling through Shutterfly? We're, uh, we're selling uh, collars, leads, uh, and a stocking. <laughs> well, not just for your okay. pets. This is human stockings, and uh, we're doing a lot of those. We've got... Uh, working a lot of overtime, but uh, getting in out the door. And these are all personalized with photos or names. So how many designs do you have now of leashes of your own design? It's about 700, and our next show is in March uh, in Orlando. It's Global Pet, and we're going to introduce almost 100 new designs there. Wow. What do you love about this job? I love our people. Um, we have very little turnover. Um, my brother and I are very passionate about keeping them busy and making a difference in Greensboro. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. And yeah. what do you like about the holidays in Greensboro? Oh gosh, downtown Greensboro. What are you talking about? It's, it's, a, it's a great time uh, and it's just good to be part of this community. We're so glad you are. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about your company with us. And if you want to purchase from Yellow Dog Design, hey, you can go to Shutterfly and check out their products there. Also, head to their website. Their website is yellowdog-design.com. One of my family's very favorite traditions, probably our very favorite tradition here in Greensboro is a totally free one. It is riding through Sunset Hills and seeing the floating lights as we call them. And Jonathan Smith is actually the man who came up with it, or he, he and his family did, I should say. How many years ago now? Uh, 22 years ago. Wow. So if you are a person in Greensboro and you're 22 years or younger, there have always been lighted balls. Yeah. Yeah, so Pretty amazing. tell us the story. How did it happen? Well, our little girl came home from uh, college. She was a sophomore and she liked to make things. She was in design school and she came home and said, Daddy, I think I'd like to make these lighted balls. And she came out in the yard and hung one ball. It was about the size of a cantaloupe and it looked pretty homely and she hung it on the lowest branch of the smallest dogwood tree mm -hmm. and then she sat down on the front steps and put her chin in her hands and looked like she was waiting for her lost dog to come home uh -huh. and some nice man and woman drove by in their car and unrolled the window and said my that's beautiful Aww. and she came inside and built another one <laughs> and it grew and it grew, and it grew, and then it grew to your neighbors, and then our neighbors, <laughs> it grew neighbors. to the city, and their friends, and out of town relatives. And you're doing good because not only are you providing this beautiful just decoration for our city and this chance for us all to get together, but you're actually raising food for the needy in our community. People love to be involved in things that matter. They love to do that more than anything else in the world. And generous neighbors, 
generous people from Greensboro and beyond have brought by food, have brought by money. Thank you so much for all you have done and continue to do. And do come out and see the lighted balls. Uh, they're all over Greensboro now. They're popping up in neighborhoods all over Greensboro. But the most spectacular display is in Sunset Hills. These snowflakes are the original snowflakes that hung around downtown Greensboro years ago. Now they adorn the snowflake arch and you can see it for yourself. Even get your picture taken under it at the corner of McGee and Davie Streets. By the way, it's even more beautiful at night. So many things to love about Greensboro during the holidays. Come on out and enjoy.